Okay, I'm recording. Um, so the idea of doing spiritual work to repress or change feelings or to escape feelings and, and doing the spiritual work, well, uh, with attack thoughts, um, letting go of attack thoughts is not a manipulation to control a feeling because one of the ideas there is that the ego wants the feeling to vanish but to still carry on its own um, experience as being in separation, i.e. to carry on thinking. So then it's like, um, it's more like telling God, I'll do this A Course in Miracles lesson, uh, my attack thoughts are attacking my vulnerability, but I'm doing it to escape my feelings because I have these horrible feelings that I don't want to feel. So then that's, um, that's doing the process to escape from the feelings, but also it's not really doing the, uh, the, the spiritual process to surrender. It's doing the process so the ego can survive and use the Course in Miracles like, a, like a, a tool in its arsenal just to control uh, the feeling of feelings and still almost be a, a powerful ego that it, it's got this lesson, Course in Miracles lesson to escape having to feel any feelings. So that's, um, then that's not, that's not, um, that's not the true intention because then that's uh, just secretly pandering to the ego using the Course in Miracles to still survive and repress feelings and carry on thinking. Uh, just that every time there's pain, the, the ego will just pick up the thought, the Course lesson to escape the feelings and is afraid of ever having to allow the feelings. So that's the, that's the difference. So the um, attack thoughts, yeah. So there's a there's a difficult feeling. I mean, it's like the uh, if one if one has like let's say I'm in pain or in fear, and then I go and my ego is going, look, I don't want to feel this fear. Let me just pick up the Course in Miracles and just use the lesson just to try and escape from the fear. Then you, then the um, uh, what what can happen is that can work, but it'll just it'll just come back again because the uh, the ego still survives afterwards. Whereas the idea that all my attack thoughts are attacking my vulnerability, well, to hold any thought, um, then uh, it's not to hold a thought uh, to hold a thought so that the feelings vanish, but to hold a thought so the ego vanishes. And what can happen there is the feelings may still be there. But there's no, the suffering won't be there because the idea of a me resenting the feeling or wanting to escape from the feeling dissolves. And usually what happens then is then um, grace kicks in to deal with the feeling. But it's a dishonest motive if uh, the ego wants to survive afterwards and is trying to manipulate the infinite to uh, suppress or repress the feelings so it can be in things. So that grace may not come and the fear may come over and over again, or the pain may come back uh, again. So um, again, the thing of um, the motive and the intention. Um, and when spiritual, I mean, I, th I think it's, it's, it's okay to do spiritual work to escape pain, but um, the pain's always gonna come back and the fear is always gonna come back if the deeper spiritual work at some point is not done which is to dissolve the ego's idea of self-existence and trying to control things to repress feelings and to label the world or to have expectations from its own self-centered core. So um, it's a good question um, because the motive of most is to use spiritual work just to be a painkiller uh, and to repress feelings so that uh, I can just use this prayer, this tool to escape this horrible feeling uh, and then and then stop the spiritual work and carry on thinking and going back into being in my ego and then having to do the work again, as opposed to a, a deeper surrender, whereby it's a constant thing of uh, doing the spiritual work to let go of the ego as opposed to just be a short-term painkiller. <clears throat> 